What's going on guys? Kevin Reese here. Today I want to bring y'all an unboxing. If y'all can see here, I've got this LG. This is the UHD TV 4K 43 inch with high dynamic range. You can see we have our model number right over here to the bottom, the 43UJ62. You can see here you got some stuff on the outside of the box. We'll show y'all a, a walk around of the whole box as well as the inside. So let's go ahead and get started. And this TV does have an IPS 4K display, active HDR, ultra surround with the web OS 3.5. All right guys, so opening the TV from the top. You see it actually does say top here. If you, it actually says top on the styrofoam. Remote, cords, wall mount, instruction manual. All right, you can see it's stuck in your styrofoam, but you actually have two. These are your mounts. If you want to mount it on a desk, So this is one. Here's our second one here. It's in a different colored package. And there's probably some significance to that coloring. So we'll check that out in a second. All right, so finally, all the contents out of the box. You can see here, this is on the bottom, styrofoam. Nothing else in the box. The TV, you just have to kind of gently slide out styrofoam on both sides. Now this is what you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna open it up. All right, so let's check it out. All right guys, so coming around to the back side of the TV, I wanna go ahead and mention, remember I talked about the colors of those stands. There's a B on that side, which stand behind will be left, and then there's an A. And if you look right here, guys, you can see on this, there's actually, that's labeled A, that's labeled B. So each one is specific to what side it goes on. They included some screws here. We have some, just some uh, Phillips head screws and they even put a little bit of Loctite, uh, Loctite on for you. So we can go ahead and put those on. But I just wanna show you guys the back of the TV. So these are the inputs. Y'all can see here, I'll just go across those. And these are your inputs on this side. You have, you actually have two HDMI's. The one, the, the two is the ARC, that's audio return channel. That's a whole review in of itself. So I'll let y'all review that further if you wish. But two HDMI's is good for me. We'll be putting my PS4 Pro on one and uh, my PC on the other. So we'll be good to go with that. Of course you have your cable here your optical digital audio out, a LAN connection, a USB, and there's a third HDMI also guys. So you actually have a total of three HDMIs on this TV. Of course, you're gonna plug your power in here. The pay for it guys is pretty self-explanatory going through. Um, just shows you here, you got your screws, how to put them on, then you stand it back up, pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Y'all wanna see here, this is the number on the back of the TV also get a close-up on that for you all right guys so to give you all a very good example of this so this like I said is side a you can see here it's indicated by the a when you take your your little stand out of the package here so you take it out you can see you have this plastic you can go ahead and remove this or leave it on if you want I'm gonna go ahead and remove it uh, you can see you got your a here also this indicated so the way the stand goes and the way I was showing you guys, I mean, it, it wouldn't really, it would be harder to get to like that. The screws wouldn't even reach. So it's kind of foolproof or dummy proof, you could say. It's got these rubberized things that I wanted to mention on the bottom too, which are pretty good to help grip. But as you can see guys, you turn around and only go in there one way. So when you put it in, it just fits in there perfect like that. You take the two screws, you know, the screws that you had that were included. See the blue there, that's Loctite. So it just kind of helps, it's like a thread locker you just drop your screws in place here guys drop your screws in 
come around with your Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and snug that down. Give it a good snug. Mm, just like that. Come over here to the next one. Just, you know, hand tighten. I wouldn't do this with a power tool, so just maybe a quarter of a turn or so. Mm, that should be good. So, both of those are on there good and snug. Now we can go ahead and get the TV set up. Alright guys, so we got the TV set up here and you can see this is my little my little spot in the world here where I connect with everybody and everything online. So I have my PC set up and I usually run I run a my this as my PC monitor, my TV, and also as my game game monitor. So I just picked up the PS4 Pro, the God of War edition, so be sure to check that out. I'll link that at the end of this video as well. But this is the TV here set up. You can see here I've got this little desk and it fits nicely on it. It is a little bit bigger than what I wanted, but it's, you know, for the price and uh, for what it is, I'm happy with it. I'm going from a 32 inch Vizio standard 720p TV to this 43 inch, you know, ultra high def HDR 4K. So big step up guys, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I have it set up here. You can see we're going to go ahead now and I'm going to walk you all through how to turn it on, hook it up, and we'll go ahead through the setup. All you should really need to get started, you've got your power cord, you've got a remote, and it even includes some batteries. So, so we have all that stuff here guys, so we should be able to go ahead and get started. Like I said, it's a smart TV, so you shouldn't, I mean if you, you, you have cable of course, you do those hookups, but I mean for smart TV, if you have wireless, um, for example, like right now I'm hooking this up. I don't really watch TV that much, so I don't have cable, but I do have um, Wi-Fi and internet, so um, I will take advantage of the apps like I have a Netflix, a Netflix account, so we use Netflix. Um, so I'll, I'll use streaming services like that, uh, Netflix and Hulu, and uh, mainly guys, um, you know, internet and uh, because I'm pretty busy when I do have free time, I'm editing videos and doing stuff for YouTube for you guys. Um, and then also doing some video games in my downtime. So that's really all I'm gonna use this for. Um, so anyway, this is your remote, your LG remote here. Um, just pop your batteries in. You can see it's even got a Netflix home button and an Amazon. Um, you can see all the functions here on it. We'll go ahead and plug it in guys and get started and go ahead through the startup. So here you have it, Illuminate LG Life's Good Web OS. So here you go, it says press the OK button on your remote. Stay right here in the center, so we'll press that. OK. It says here Confirm we go. your location and language settings. Navigate with left, right, up, down and OK button on the remote. Hi Google. Unchecked. Y'all got all that? <laughs> OK guys, so we're going to go through here, go through these settings here and you have the arrows. So. It's set on English. English. Check. So English is checked. Hit English. OK. Check. Language uh. English. Time zone select. All right. So countries, Language United English. States, and then time, time zone. zone. ADAC. Unchecked. So let's go here to our time zone. It says ADAC. Honolulu. Un Chicago. So I say we're in New Un York because I'm in South Indiana Carolina. Place. So New York, Detroit. that's going to be Un Eastern time. Check. Hit OK. And then we'll just go down to OK. OK. Button. And hit OK. LG TV provides audio guidance for the visually impaired. Do you want to turn off audio guidance? No, yes. Yes. Button. I'll, I'll turn yes. it off for right button. now. Yes. Button. So there you are. Your TV has been located. Back to where are you? So home or store. So we're going to do home because this is home. Hit OK and check it. So and then hit OK again. So we're going to do wireless. All right. So we've entered our Wi-Fi. Now we're going to go ahead. It's going to show you this legal notice. So just hit next. Unless you want to read all that. I don't have time for it. Uh, privacy policy, yes, agree, or else it's probably going to let you lose, use the TV. So user agreement, just go down, hit agree. So ready, get ready to watch TV. So connect all TV equipment and other devices now for easiest setup. So how do you get your TV service? So 
I would just put I don't have TV service, so we'll skip that one. In order to proceed with channel tuning, your TV needs to know how it's connected. So that's fine. We aren't really tuning channels, so get ready to watch TV. It's going to ask me for the zip code here. I just entered my coverage area. Of course, I don't have any TV set up here. So we'll do something like, let's just go ahead and hit this Netflix button and see what happens. So you must update the app to launch it. The update may cause stored data. Do you want to update this app? Hit OK, because that's annoying. So we're going to go ahead and update Netflix. Because that's what I watch the majority of when I do watch TV or shows. So you can see here we have our load bar. It's updating. The application has been successfully updated. You see our notification in the top right. So we'll launch. Pretty fast, guys. Alright guys, so we got Netflix set up here, just scrolling through some of the apps. And uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the other features here on this TV. So if we hit, if we just go here and hit our home button, we can hit home. And you see it brings up all this different content. So um, you see you've got Netflix, Live TV, Prime Video, Hulu Sling, Vudu, Fandango, Google Play, Movies and TV. LG content search, web browser, your user guide. Um, you can see here you've got device connection, device connector, um, guide, music, photos, and TV, TV schedule, screen share, accessibility, notifications, LG remote service, and then a pencil. Which if you hit that, it says edit mode. So to change the location of apps, you can select it and move it to the desired place. And so it looks like you press the OK button on your remote to delete. Press X over the app you want to delete. So that's pretty cool. So it gives you the flexibility to, to move some of this stuff. But And if you hold it down, you can just go all the way to the side here. Pretty neat, guys. Pretty neat feature. Um, So maybe there's a cancel button here. I can go back, hit exit. So there we go. So exit and we can exit all the way out. Um, and it'll take us back to the static. All right guys, so I kind of want to give you all a good idea of everything on here. So um, with the by hitting the home button here um, and just going to this home menu, uh, what I did is I scrolled over here. You can see I, I highlighted this um, LG content, uh, hit OK. Uh, it brought this up. Uh, so it looks like there's some there's shows on here. You see there's a movie, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Um, so see Young Sheldon. So let's just see what happens if I hit OK on here. Um, it's going to want you to play. So for Voodoo, um, $1.99. And then Fandango, now um, $1.99. So these are some services, looks like. And it's bringing up prime video here also uh, so let's go and close that but just uh, you can see there is some content on here so we'll go back here to the home let's go over here so if you go to search it looks like it's gonna bring up if you give it a second here um, text search so search any content by entering keywords into the field so so if you wanted to you search anything I guess um, any shows you can go to search there. Uh, let's go back here to home and let's go over to so Google Play Movies and TVs which looks pretty cool so so you have to update it to launch it also and that looks like something that would be similar like if you have an Android or either an, an Apple device and you want to use your Google you can use those services as well. Uh, let's bring this back up guys um, Live Zoom is available for live TV, HDMI, and videos except VOD, videos on demand. So if you come over here, pretty cool. There's also, you have a web browser function that allows you, you can go right here and search the internet. Um, news, so by not having news, so and you can see here, this arrow is just, is allowing me to use this mouse to just kind of mouse over stuff. So, I mean, that's a pretty cool function, you know, if you wanted to use this and you didn't have a computer or smartphone, 
Um, again, it's kind of a it's a it's a it's a it's a nice feature. Um, the convenience it would be much more convenient to use your phone or a, a laptop or a tablet um, just to to navigate. But it's a nice feature to have on here. So come all the way over here, like your user guide, um, device connection. So click here, um, and it looks like it's going to bring this menu up where you can connect different devices. So, so this is like stuff that you're going to set up, get game console, which I'll be setting this up, and also a PC. So if you hit that, it looks like it's going to tell you connect it to a certain spot, make sure it's plugged in and turned on. So, pretty simple. So HDMI is going to bring that up. And then it's going to show Game Console, so we'll keep that as one. Alright guys, so I hope you've liked this video. I hope that it's been informative. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing this TV that has helped you out with your decision, I appreciate you watching, taking the time to watch it. Hope I covered everything. If you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, just drop a comment. I'll answer it as soon as I can. Appreciate you watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video, please. Helps me out to make more videos for you guys. Kevin Reese, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.